Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to use the use effect hook in React. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is uh, remove some code here because we don't need it anymore. So I'll remove it. We probably don't need header. We probably don't need this. You know what? I just remove everything and I'll save it. So our screen is blank right now. So what we need to do is I'll create a component. So let's go to components and create a new file. Maybe call it time change. I don't know. I am not good with naming things. So let's call this component time change. Or maybe call it timer. Timer is easy. So we'll call it timer. So over here we have our timer component. So I pasted some code over here. So let's try to understand what's going on here and what will what this code will render on the screen. So over here we are importing use effect and use state hook from React library. And then we have our use state hook over here and we are passing our count variable with initial value zero and our setter function set count. Over here we have our button. So whenever a user call, click on this button, we will render this callback function and it will increment the value by one. So, so far so good, like we didn't change anything. It's exactly the same we are doing here. But the reason we are using use effect hook here is because we need to make some DOM manipulation. So in inside the use effect hook, we can call our APIs, we can do side effects, and we can also do DOM manipulation. So we are grabbing the document object and changing its title property. And then we're passing our count variable here. So if I save this, and if I try to click it, this will update the value here. This will not update our page title. But why is it? See, in the use effect, we need to pass uh, a dependency. So what will happen is, so use effect will render your page whenever, whatever you pass here in this dependency array changes. So if we pass our count variable here, because we know like we are changing our count variable, right? So we're changing this count. And if, if I pass count here, and if I save it, now React knows or the use effect hook knows that whenever this thing changes, we need to render this. That's all it does. So if I refresh it, and if I click it, see we are saying, as we click it, we are changing the page title as well. So let's do something different. So, I, so I'm running an application here, a React application where I have this start button and some value which is 20. And as soon as I click this button, we see like this value is decrementing by one value per second. And this, the start button is actually changed to stop button. If I press the stop button, it will change back to start and the value stops. So this is kind, kind of a timer. So we are creating a simple timer. So I'll refresh it again. We start from 20, so 20 second, and when we click this button, it will decrement the value one each second. And if we stop it, it will stop the value. I know it looks really simple, but there is a little bit of complexity which we need to understand in order to uh, create this mini app, you can say, where you're just creating a timer. Okay, so before I go there, I'll show you this smile board. And what I'll do, I'll just probably make it bigger so that you can see it and I'll bring it here. All right, so what we are doing here. So we have a, our count variable, which is 20 in the beginning. So this is the initial value. And initial value you can see we can get from our use state hook. So we can pass our in initial value here, which is 20. And then we know like, we just did an example where if we click the button, it will increment by one. We can do the same thing. Instead of incrementing it, we can decrement by one value. So that's easy. Like we are just trying to connect those pieces. But there are few caveat over here. So first of all, we need to toggle between this start and stop button. So in order to toggle that, we need to use some kind of Boolean, which is true or false. So right now, let's say we have a variable is running, which is set to true. So when we press this start button, so or when the app initially loads from our use state hook, 
we can pass this true and then when we click on the stop button the value becomes false so it will toggle between true and false true and false so when it's true the timer will run when we press stop the timer will stop so hope it's not too complicated i know it looks complicated but i'm just trying to show you like what are the different ways we can implement this so this is probably the easiest way i think we can achieve that all right so let's code this mini project you can say or mini app whatever you want to call it so right now we have some code which we need to understand and see how we can achieve this timer so let let me first stop this so first of all we're doing few things here so, so we are importing our use state and use effect hook from react so this is easy and then we have our two variable count and is running so count has an initial value of 20 and is running has a initial value of false so first of all uh, whenever this application mounts is running would be false so that's that's the, the first condi uh, condition so is running will make sure that application is in the running state or stop state over we here we have our interval function which we are using our set interval method from javascript and inside we are passing this anonymous function and inside anonymous function we have our set count variable which is taking this initial value of 20 and decreasing one from it and we're passing this second argument which is 1000 millisecond so at every 1000 millisecond which is equal to one second so every second the set interval method will run and inside the set count uh, function which we have created inside the use state will run and decrease the value by one at each second and when the application unmounts we will be running our clear interval method from javascript and we're just passing our interval function over here so this is uh, similar to what i have shown you here so whenever our application mounts we will run this part of the application so in our case this code will run so whenever it's unmounts will stop the counter and this uh, clear interval method will run and we have two dependencies here so first of all count and the is running as i have already shown you in this my robot that so this will always toggle between true and false so this value is either true or false and it will sh uh, it will show the button in its start state or stop state so if we come here again we see if, we, if i refresh it right now if is running is true it will show stop if it's is running is false it is it will show start so right now it is false so it, we will be seeing this one so that's why we're seeing start and as soon as we click this button the value will decrease by one each second so this is running right now so whenever i stop it it will stop and the value will be stopped so that's how you achieve uh, this timer for oh, while it's running i need to stop it so that's how you achieve this simple timer functionality in the use effect hook so i think that's it for use effect for now but in the future as we will build more complex application we will see the different use cases of this uh, of this hook okay so that's all from this video and thanks a lot for watching i'll see you next time